Hi guys, this is Tiffany. Welcome to 808s and Compacts. And today we are doing a very, my favorite thing to do, uh, which is the gratis haul and first impressions type of deal. We're gonna try these items on. Uh, most of them are um, new to me, uh, but for the most part, like lashes and lip colors and stuff like that, that's all my staple, my holy grail products. But, um, we're gonna go ahead and just get right into the tutorial. And before we go into it, I wanna make sure that you all click that subscribe button and make sure before it's done that you rate it, give it a thumbs up and share with me what your favorite product is, what it is that you're looking forward to, um, different release things or items. I know everyone's excited about the Fenty Galaxy Gravity uh, collection is coming out on October 13th so yeah I would love to hear you all's thoughts on that but I'm gonna stop rambling because I could go on and on um, so yeah let's get into the tutorial and I'll see you guys soon bye guys all right so let's go ahead and get started with the look I've already started off with my brows and we're gonna get into the eye look first so we're using today the Smashbox Ablaze palette, which is a pretty, um, very like warm tone palette. It has like a lot of cramp, well, not a lot. It's only eight eyeshadows in here and has cranberries and kind of warm bronzy shades and obviously a nice rich um, rusty orange and a brown and gold. In the crease, I'm starting with the rusty orange shade with my Sigma crease blending brush. I felt like I really had to build the orange in my crease because for some strange reason, oranges tend to go berry on my eyes. I don't know. And now I'm applying the deep berry shade into my crease with the Sigma E30 brush. Even though the cranberry shade has a little bit of shimmer in it, it's not so shimmery to where I can't apply it into my crease. I actually felt like it made the eyes look softer than working with completely matte eyeshadows. Okay, here I'm lining my eyelid with a black eyeliner to create a darker base for the berry shade. I'm just smudging it out with my finger, keeping the black very low. <laughs> and this is where I was getting frustrated with this palette. I know I dipped my brush into the berry shade no less than 20 times. Like, no less. But I just kept on packing. Uh, but the shade never looked as deep as it does in the pan. And the shadows started to look a bit patchy on my eyelid as well. So I decided to help out the Smashbox Cranberry by adding some of the Tarte Tardiest Shadows in Mod and Drama. There is my pigment. And I'm just gonna work that Cranberry shade in the crease again. Okay, and going in with the gold and the bright orange, I'm applying those into my inner corner. And to brighten the center back up, I dabbed a mix of the pink and orange from the Smashbox palette. And then I finished off the look by going back into the orange shade just on the edges of that cranberry shade from way, way, way back. But overall, I think the Smashbox Blaze palette is great for someone who is getting into colorful eyeshadows but doesn't want colors too bold, I guess. Um, I feel like you can create a great mixture of like soft eye looks as well as a smoky eye. Alright, I finished the other eye off camera. And to start with my foundation, I'm using the Murad Matte Effect Blotting Perfector to mattify my skin before using my primer. I like to apply this to clients um, after finishing their eyes so that their primer isn't sitting on top of oily skin already. And this blotter can also be used to top off um, or on top of makeup to blot throughout the day without disturbing our highlight or our contour or that under eye bakage. Yes, yes. 
So the foundation I'm using today is the NARS Velvet Matte Foundation Stick. I haven't seen much about this product even though it's been out for about four to five months. I've used Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick uh, and the Hourglass Vanish Stick. So I like the idea of a matte foundation stick for my oily skin. But this stick had my feelings hurt. I swiped the foundation on and not only did the stick start melting on my face, but a chunk broke off. This stick is priced at 45 with only 0.31 ounces of product. This finish is beautiful, it is matte, it gives like a really nice coverage, but with a stick that will lean straight off during application, yeah. Um, I don't think it's worth purchasing because you may not get the full value of it if pieces are breaking off because your face is hot or it's hot and I mean whatever a foundation stick should not do that when you're applying it now I'm going in with another stick a much better stick the Sephora make no mistake foundation as my concealer stick in the shade chestnut I'm blending it out with a damp beauty blender um, this stick has become one of my faves really really quick it blends out super easy is not cakey and it doesn't separate underneath my eyes throughout the day plus the shade range is pretty nice as well pretty nice And speaking of great shade ranges, I'm going in next with my Fenty Matte Stick in the shade Espresso. I love the fact that this contours and warms up my complexion at the same time. It's not ashy or muddy. It's five star perfect. Okay, it's time to set. I'm using a mixture of the Laura Mercier and Ben Nye Banana Powder for underneath my eyes. And next, I'm setting the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier Medium Deep Translucent Powder. Okay, and back with another Fenty Beauty item. I'm using the Kilowatt Highlighter in Mean Money and Hustler Baby uh, <laughs> in my inner corner and to pop these cheekbones. Next, I'm mixing two of my absolute favorite blushes, Sephora's Sweet On You and Essay Edits Ember Glow using the Too Faced Mr. Perfect All-in-One Brush. And bringing this entire look to an end, I'm finishing the look off with a nude lippy from NARS in Bahama and a MAC lip glass in the shade Lust. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.